is going on guys papa c back with another video for you guys and today i am bringing you another pokemon sun and moon set guide video if you guys enjoy the content you want to support the channel leave a like down below if you guys want to see any pokemon featured in this series in the future leave a comment down below although please don't recommend a pokemon that i've already used before there will be a playlist link in the description with all the pokemon that i've used and today we're looking at taking a look at lycan rock day form now in the next video i will take a look at lycan rock night i just think it makes sense to do the back to back so First and foremost, let's take a look at the stats. 75 HP, 115 attack, 65 defense, 55 special attack, 65 speed def, and 112 speed. Very good Pokemon offensively. Good attack stat, good speed. You outspeed the Lottie Twins. There's a lot of things that are in between base 105 and 110, especially around that 110 range in this game. So having 112 is actually really good. 115 attack, nothing to laugh at. You can definitely pack a punch, especially being a rock type, which is a pretty good attack or pretty good type offensively. Taking a look at the abilities though, nothing too special here. Kenai, Sandra, Steadfast, all of them are relatively situational. Kenai, you pretty much never want to run this Pokemon's accuracy can't be lowered. That doesn't really have any competitive use. Uh, Sandrush could be good if you pair it with a Sand Center, and then Steadfast could be decent because you can't get flinches. Uh, I do think this is one of those Pokemon that benefit from its abilities more in a league-based format because if your opponent has a lot of things that can flinch you, you can run Steadfast. If your opponent has a T-Tar or something, you can run Sandrush. Again, pretty situational, but I do think it is a mod that has a lot of good things going for it. So, taking a look at the attacks here. Lots of interesting things. Not a super wide move pool, but there's a lot of cool things you can do with this Pokemon. First and foremost, new move that it gets, a Saw Rock, 40 base power, physical, priority, rock move. Such a good thing to have. I believe this might be one of the only 100 accuracy, if not the only 100 accuracy rock type move, so it's a pretty good move to have on a Saw Rock. You also get some other cool stuff. You get Brick Break, Bulk Up, Crunch, Facade. You get, uh, what else do you get? You get Rest. You get rest Talk could be an option. Sleep Talk, uh, Rock Polish, Rock Slide, and Stone Edge, of course. Stealth Rock. Uh, you get Sub, you get Taunt, you get Sucker Punch, you get Swords Dance, Rock Polish. I think I said Rock Polish like three times. But lots of interesting things with this Pokemon. Taking a look at the first set. Very basic set, nothing too special. We've got the Lacking Rock with the Life Orb. Ability, Sand Rush or Steadfast, not really a big deal. Uh, and then attacks, a Cell Rock, Fire Fang, Stone Edge, and Crunch. Fire Fang's really good because you can hit things like Ferrothorn, Caesar, Breloom, things that are weak to fire. Uh, Jolly Nature, Max HP, or excuse me, Max Attack, Max Speed. Very standard set. You could swap out Fire Fang or Crunch for any other attacks. I just think they're very good attacks to have because Rock, Fire, Dark is actually pretty decent coverage. Uh, and then on to the next set we have is a Resto Chesto set. I want to give a shout out to my friend Sock. He's the one that actually built this set. I haven't used this set though, if I'm being honest. I used, I've used this first set. I have not used this set though. We got Lycan Rock with the Chesto Berry. Again, ability doesn't matter. Stealth Rock, Roar, Rest, and Rock Slide. Resto Chesto set. A little bit of a bulky set. I don't know how this will work because Lycan Rock does not have the best bulk as you can see. 65 defense and 65 speed def isn't that great. 75 HP isn't horrible though. This thing also does get bulk up, so you could potentially run some sort of bulk up set. But again, I really think the way to go with this Pokemon is something offensive. Or one other thing that I think is going to be really good is some sort of wall, not necessarily wall breaker, but some sort of a lead breaker set, if that makes sense. Basically a counter lead. So this set is just that to counter other lead Pokemon. We got Lycanroc with the Lumberry. This counters things with T-Wave, Prankster T-Wave. This counters things with Spore. Anything that can status to you, you got the Lumberry. Doesn't matter. Steadfast ability, any lead Pokemon with Fake Out, doesn't matter. You won't flinch. Taunt, again, if they have a Klefki, they go for T-Wave, proc your Lumberry. They're taunted. They can't do anything. Next turn, you go for SD or something. Stone Edge and Crunch is for coverage. Uh, you can swap these out if you want for other things. If you really want, you could put a Cell Rock on this thing. I just feel like Stone Edge is better because if I'm at a plus two attack with 112 Jolly Speed, you're going to outspeed a lot of things anyway. So... You can run Stone Edge, and then Crunch, again, it's it's preference. You can put Fire Fang, you can put Brick Break if you really want, it doesn't really matter. Then we have the next set, which I think is actually a very good set. Uh, this set could be really interesting. Another lead set, we got Lycan Rock with the Life Orb. You could run Leftovers if you want. I think Leftovers could be good, or Expert Belt if, if you really don't want to take the recoil damage. Ability, I recommend Steadfast because this is ideal for a lead. Uh, Stealth Rock, a Cell Rock, Crunch, and Taunt. Very similar to the last set, except we have a Cell Rock over Stone Edge. We don't have Source Dance. And we have Taunt with the Life Orb. Uh, same EV spread. This is pretty much the best EV spread you could have on this Pokemon. It's just Jolly Max H or Jolly Max Attack Max Speed. Very good set. Last set we have here. This set's incomplete because there's a lot of things you can do with this thing. Basically, same EV spread. Jolly Max Attack Max Speed or Max Speed. Double Dance. Stealth. Not Stealth Rock. Rock Polish and Swords Dance. Stone Edge. Last Attack. 
doesn't really matter. Brick Break, Crunch, Fire Fang, it gets Thunder Fang too. Thunder Fang is listed under usually useless moves though, but it, it could be a thing if you really want to. Uh, it also gets Snarl, which I think could be interesting in the League format. Yes, your special attack is Booty, but this could be an interesting attack to have. Uh, same with Swagger, Swagger is banned in Smogon, but um, in a League format, if your League doesn't ban Swagger for whatever reason, it's something to keep in mind. Um, item, again, Life Orb, Left Orb doesn't matter. I recommend Steadfast. And that's pretty much Lycan Rock. Pretty quick video, I know. This Pokemon, I think, is one of the better Pokemon to come out of this generation. I could see this thing being UU or High RU, maybe in the BL tier over there. I really like this Pokemon. It's a Pokemon I've used a lot. I've had, I think I have two Wi-Fi battles with this. One of them should be up by now. The next one should be up tomorrow if my scheduling is correct. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. The support goes a long way. I really do appreciate those likes. Subscribe if you're new. Have a good rest of your day. I will see you guys next time. And bye-bye.